Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is Succulent Sunday today, and today I'm going to be repotting my ponytail palm. It has been four years since I last repotted my ponytail palm into this drum style mica pot. Last time I repotted the tree, I placed it off center in the pot and since then I've, I've changed my mind on that. I think it would look better planted right in the center of the pot, kind of symmetrical. Long ago I carved a doorway in this tree and I made a little wooden gate for it. But since then, my doorway is pretty well healed. So I think, you know, in future, it'll just become a natural looking tree once again. I did that because I, I, I didn't want to grow the, just a regular ponytail palm. I wanted to make it look kind of like a little miniature hobbit house or something. But yeah, I, I think the tree is getting mature enough now. It's getting this mature bark on it. It's getting a bit of a canopy. I'll be cutting these long shoots back uh, probably next summer, early summer, cutting them back hard, sealing them, and then regrowing more branches up top to kind of create a rounded canopy on them. In nature, they get quite a branch structure in these ponytail palms as they grow large. And they do grow large. They get, uh, you know, as tall as a house. Before I begin the work on the ponytail palm, I'll show you some reference photos of some of the larger ponytail palms in nature and in gardens. So that was a look at some inspirational ponytail palms. Let's begin the repotting now. I have a playlist for my ponytail palm, so you can go back into the past and see what I did to get the tree to this stage. So my first step today is to get the tree out of the pot. I'll take away my door here. Okay, here I go. I'll grip the tree by the, the horns here, give it a wiggle, and it should come out. There it goes. Come on. There. Well, it looks like there's lots of roots. Here's a look at some of the roots on the tree. Ah, it looks like they're pretty packed in there, but it's not so dense that it's a solid mass of roots. I think it's at a good stage for repotting. A four year interval seems to be pretty good for this plant. I'll get my root rake out and begin combing out the roots. So I'll start from the center of the tree and comb outward in a radial pattern. And we'll see what kind of root system we have here. Um, last time I repotted this tree, the root system was quite meager. And I had a few sections, you can see here, it's kind of burled. I had a few sections on the trunk that looked like that, and I wasn't sure what was causing that. But I don't see any worsening of that effect. In fact, it, it seems to be healthier, the tree now. Which is good, it seems to have healed itself and is yeah, looking really healthy, actually. I watered this tree thoroughly yesterday. 
and already it's quite dry. It must have sucked that water up, I guess. So my soil mixture looks good. It's nice and crumbly still. That was the 50% turfus and 50% perlite. And yeah, it works pretty good. Um, today I'm going to be potting it in the bonsai soil from the bonsai supply. The kind you can get at the Home Depot. It's, it's a nice coarse mixture and I think the ponytail palm will really, really like that mix. I used it for my asparagus fern and it's... The asparagus fern is growing like crazy. So my goal with this tree is to grow the canopy tall enough that all these trailing leaves don't get caught underneath the pot and the root base when I move the tree. Right now they're they're lower than the bottom of the pot and they, they really get in the way. I will prune them back today. Um, kind of get, ah, shorten up these lower leaves or pull a lot of them off. I probably could have done that before the repotting. So today is the last of the really warm days. It's going up to, you know, t-shirt weather again today. But then it starts cooling down over the week slowly. And then the next week looks like we're into the freezing temperatures where we're going below freezing. So it's been pretty good. It's been a good November. Um, I still have my tropical trees outside uh, in the greenhouse. And on, you know, nice days like yesterday, I had them out on the benches, which is pretty unusual for November here in Ontario, Canada. So, yeah, good root system on it. Nice and radial. You can see that? It's looking very, very nice. It's definitely not compacted in here. I probably could have gone longer without repotting, but... I did want to move the tree, the position in the pot. And it was also, if you notice, it was starting to grow on a, a slant. Uh, I guess the root mass was building up on one side and it was causing the tree to tilt. So I want to correct that too. It was looking a little funny in the pot. I wish I had a really nice pot for this. I'll look around. I don't think I have anything better than that drum style mica pot. but. I don't need a mica pot because it's a tropical tree. So if I could get a nice ceramic pot, I it would be, look good. Um, I'll look around. I don't think I have anything that big that would be suitable. Here's some of those calloused areas here. You can see it's it's kind of like again like cork bark or something, and it's just kind of flaking off. I don't know, maybe it's like a burl or something. So this plant is very old. Uh, again, I bought it as an accent plant. It was a little tiny thing. Uh, and probably, you know, over 25 years ago. So it's as old as that, uh, as my asparagus farm. I think I got them together as little accent plants. I never used them as accent plants, I just kind of grew them and they've become pretty mature trees now, or plants. So I've just kind of, there's a lot of roots that have grown around in a, kind of around the edge of the pot, so I'm just kind of teasing those out now, getting them untangled. Okay, I think it's time to flip the tree over, I've got like this thick band of roots on the outside, which I'm going to have to remove. There's my drainage screen in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to like cut these away. They're just so tangled. So let me get out the scissors and we'll cut away this outer uh, ring of roots. All right, here I go. I've got the scissors here and I'll just have to kind of cut away this layer. It's just, it's so intertwined and tangled that I can't really comb them out and they're too long anyway. I just want my pot full of radial roots. I don't want them circling around. I 
Now, as far as the time of year, you know, this is not the greatest time of the year to be repotting, but it's not bad. And the reason is, is that this tree has been outside in the poly house, which is quite cool at night. You know, it, um, it, it stays above freezing, but not, not a whole lot. So it's used to cooler temperatures. And when I put it inside in the plant room, it'll just think it's spring and it'll start growing like crazy. So, you know, the best time to repot this is probably early summer when the temperatures are nice and warm. Second best time is now, just before you bring it in for the winter. And yeah, both the top and the bottom will grow like crazy once it hits the warm weather. Because outside here, they're just basically dormant when it's cool like this, these kind of cooler nights. There's a drainage screen. Got that out. So I've kind of cleared that ring of roots away from the edges of the tree. So now I can continue raking out my roots. The old soil, which looks really good shape. It's good soil. There's some more of that corky bark type stuff on the bottom here. I guess it is just sort of like a, a cork bark. Yeah, I wish I had pruned these leaves before I started working on the tree. Why didn't you guys tell me to do that? <laughs> I actually meant to do that, I forgot. Too excited about repotting it, I guess. I don't know. So the root system is a lot stronger than the last time I repotted it. I still don't have any roots in this cork bark section, which you can see just kind of peels away. It's the weirdest thing. And it's definitely not rot or anything. I think it's just like a burl something on the tree. I'm hoping, you know, there's roots growing here, so I'm hoping we get some more roots in that section. Okay, I'm raking from underneath now. My radial pattern. Okay, I think that's combed out. I'm going to clean up. Then we'll come back and start the root pruning. My drum style pot here will look fine with the ponytail palm. I'm going to look around and see if I can find any other pots that would kind of suit it, maybe set it up for growing even larger in the future. I have this large pot. It's pretty big. Let's see what the tree looks like in it. Here is a look at it in that pot. So it doesn't it doesn't look ridiculously large. It's definitely a lot larger though. And I, I'm not sure if I like the deep pot with it. I think, you know, I've got a nice radial root system. I don't think I need that deep of a pot. I think it looks too, yeah, just too over potted. I have the large cement pot of Lewis's. Let's try the tree out in that. That's kind of what it would look like there. So it doesn't look too bad in here. Um, the size isn't bad. The depth is nice. This cement color really goes with the trunk. And it looks kind of unusual because you would need like a layer of moss. So you have the, the gray, the green, the gray, and the green up top. I'm not sure if it's the right color for it. Maybe I need something a little more contrasting, but it would certainly work in this pot, that's for sure. I think another pot that it would look good in is the pot that my apple tree is in. It's another kind of drum style pot. It's about the right size. It's a good looking tokonomi pot. So that's that pot there. Yeah, it would be really good in that, but you know, at present moment, it is occupied by the apple tree. 
So I can't use that pot, but maybe, you know, someday in the future, if I find better pot for the apple tree, then this can go for the ponytail palm. The only other large ceramic pot I have is the one the white ash is in. And I don't think that's a suitable shape for the ponytail palm or color. I, I don't think that would go at all. Maybe in the future I can get a better pot for the ponytail palm, but I think for now I'm going to put it back in the round mica pot. I think it's suitable. This pot I'm worried it would take up too much space in my plant room and there's no need to have it that large. So I think this pot is the perfect size for it. And you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space in the plant room. So that's the pot it's going back in. I have got drainage screens in my pot. I reused the same ones. And I'm going to use the soil from the bonsai supply. You can order this through the Home Depot, an online order only. You can't find it in the stores and they'll ship it to your house or you can pick it up at the store. So here's a look at the mix. Quite a nice coarse granular mix. Uh, it's got pumice, lava rock, calcinine clay, which is same as turfus, and pine bark fines. So a really, really good basic bonsai soil mix that'll work with any tree. I'm going to add a layer of soil in the bottom of the pot now, and it won't be very thick because the ponytail palm kind of has a rounded bottom underneath the, uh, the trunk. So if I put too much soil in the pot, it'll sit too high. I think two scoops like that will be just perfect. My pot is all ready for planting. So next, I've got to prune the roots on the ponytail palm. I've got the tree on the turntable so I can begin pruning the roots. I want to keep all these nice radial roots. So anything, you can see where it's hit the edge of the pot here and then deflected downwards. I'm going to prune them off just before where it hits the pot. So last time I repotted this tree, I did root pruning just like this. And the tree never miss, miss, missed a beat. It just kept on growing like nothing ever happened to it. So it shows they can tolerate the root pruning quite nicely. All right, well, let's see how the tree fits in the pot. Now, I don't know if there's a front to this. Um, this is the thickest trunk here. back one's also very thick. But that would mean I'd have to place my wound to the front, which wouldn't be very good. So, I think I'm going to put it somewhere about here. Let's see how it goes in the pot. So it's quite high in the pot. I can't really get it any lower. Um, that may be another reason to go for a deeper pot eventually. So I can get the root system you know, buried more without mounding my soil up so much. But that's not bad there. Now it's in a round pot, so the front doesn't matter as much. It's just a matter of the foot position on the pot here. leaves up. So I'm making sure all the soil is worked in around the base of the tree. Make sure there's no air pockets in there. Okay, 
Well, that is repotted. I will give the tree a water and then we'll come in and prune all this foliage, which I should have done right away. All right, here I go with the watering. All right, it's time to prune all these long fronds hanging down. I'm going to prune everything off to about here. So you can see the trunk in that. And then you can come in and kind of put a point on the uh, end of your cuts if you want to make it look a little more natural. But And I may be peeling away a lot of the lower leaves. There's a lot of yellowed ones. So I'm going to start with that, you know, trimming the the foliage to that line and then I'll come in and uh, kind of clean it up a bit. So here I go. So I'm just going to come in, prune everything. Now I think I'm still a little long. I'm going to, I'm going to remove some of these bottom leaves. I'm just pulling them off. They're kind of old and yellow. Get rid of those. That'll help bring up the foliage lines too. So it's not hanging down so low. Okay. I think that's good. Let's uh, let's step back and have a look at it. I'm just going to let the wound here grow out. I thought about carving it out and putting a doorway in here and then I'm, I'm just going to try and grow it to look like a natural ponytail palm so it won't have any features on it. So it'll be ready soon to do the, the big chopping up here and I'm wondering I could get away with it now but I don't think I will. I think I'll leave it till kind of you know, early summer when it starts getting warm outside and sunny, good strong sun, then I'll prune it back, seal my cuts with that, uh, you know, that rubber cement, and then, uh, yeah, so I'll get this dividing from one into hopefully more, building up a better branch structure and a canopy on top of the tree. My ponytail palm is all repotted, ready to grow once again, and hopefully it'll grow really well. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>